Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Jingle bells, jingle bells, sing for me, baby, baby. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back again to react to what is remaining of a Berlin Reads vlogmas. I have to be honest, we're almost there. This will be day 22. I think she said her last day of filming is the 24th, which in real time is tomorrow. So we're about to be done with vlogmas and then we'll see what's up and what's next for Amberlynn. A few PSAs. I am uploading two videos in one day because the video I uploaded this morning I intended to be uploaded last night. I thought it'd be really funny when I was editing to add in Celine Dion singing a little bit of My Heart Will Go On after I talked about how sad I was that she was already moving on from the Titanic Expert Lego set. But YouTube was like, mm, no, that's copywritten. You included too much of that clip. It won't count and uh, you will not be able to monetize that. So I tried to edit it. It took a real long time to re-upload. It's fine, but I'm really mostly just saying this so that you know that not only did I post this video, but I also posted another video earlier this morning. I also am just thrilled to be hanging out with y'all right now. I don't really actually have any plans for Christmas. I might go hang out with my friend who's also still in Chicago for Christmas, but otherwise, like, it's just me and the pups. Noel is traveling for the holiday. <laughs> so it's just me, Judy Lou Who, and Post of Doodle Doo hanging out, and it's cold as hell, and I thought, you know, what other way to celebrate than to sit here and film with y'all. I actually was also thinking about how I've spent most of my day today watching one of my favorite Twitch streamers. Her name is I Paint Burbs. I'll link her channel down below. But she literally just paints birds and then she also has like live stream footage of a bird feeder outside her home where birds go and eat. And it's just like... Yeah, I, I was just thinking about how great it's been to spend some time with her and figured some of y'all might need a similar outlet, even if you are with your family. Because trust, I know sometimes I've been with family and like, I need a break, I need a break. So um, yeah, I hope you find comfort <laughs> in hanging out with me this holiday season. And honestly, since I am going to be around, we might just in real time, try to react to all of the remaining vlogmases. But I don't want to make any promises. But be on the lookout. But I don't want to make any promises, okay? All right. So anyways, let's get into today's video, which is called Consequences of Binging, Striking More Channels, and Reaction Channels Lie. Tree Vlogmas Day 22. And my favorite, 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 I'm lying, this is not my favorite at all, uh, but my favorite content from Amber Lynn is talking about reaction channels, but saying she doesn't watch reaction channels, but then having a lot to say about reaction channels. It's very much my favorite content. And I also kind of feel like some of this might be coming from a Q&A she put on Instagram. So she's been doing Q&As on Instagram, but there was like a day or two ago where she said, specifically ask me questions for a Vlogmas video. And so, ugh, also my least favorite kind of content from Amber Lynn is Q&As. Because <laughs> it's just, whoo, hard to get through. With that being said, let's just get to get to and start watching the, today's video. Hey guys, welcome Hi. to Vlogmas Day 22. We, Jingle we're getting Bell. there. <laughs> Sing for me, baby. Baby. <laughs> Baby. We're already on the 22nd. We are. I have to film the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. That's it. Oh my god. The vlogmas is over. Oh my god, that's so sad. Oh my god. All right. It is gift time. This is for oh, Pauline. Oh yeah, in case you forgot, they're both opening gifts now for the remainder of Vlogmas. So how fun. Do you want to oh, open first? I know, the bag is so cute. Do you want to open first, babies? Sure, babies. Okay. Babies. Babies, do you want to open first? What is this? Ooh. Well, read what it says. <laughs> Bambi and Feline. Yeah. She is... has a little bracelet co collection. <gasps> Can I show them? Yeah. Sure. So I know she show likes me. bracelets. Show me. Show me. 
You're gonna show me this tiny ass little thing and you can't even wait for it to be focused? <laughs> Uh, I can't talk too much. I, I'm frequently out of focus, but I just like, how am I supposed to see what's going on here? So I got her. Oh, there we go. It's focused. Bambi and Feline. You guys can't really see it. I can't. This says Bambi and that says Feline. Is that going to fit around her wrist? Does she have dainty enough wrists for that? You like it, baby? I'm adding it right now to my... Oh, you're wearing some. <laughs> I just hope it fits. I was really nervous about that. I'm nervous too, Bestie. I literally had to Google what is the average size of a female wrist and a male wrist and kind of like meet in the middle. <laughs> Does it fit? Yeah, baby. You have to be honest because those slides, by the way. You do, you do have to be honest because those slides did not fit her. <laughs> they didn't. And wifey is ready to lie to keep Amber Lynn happy is what I've learned during Vlogmas. Way update on those slides. They didn't We've decided fit. to get a new pair. Okay, thank you. Now, why did wifey have to lie about that to begin with? Because those slides sure as hell didn't fit. You could just look and tell that they, her heel was hanging off the back of them. <laughs> One size up. Y'all hear him? Y'all hear Potato Doodle Doo trying to get comfortable behind me? He had been laying in the same position for at least 30 minutes to an hour before I decided to start filming. And now I'm filming and he has to... He does this every time I film, if I'm being honest with you. All right, he's finally done. Let's get back to... Oh, it fits good. Does it? So you like? It looks like a little tight and uncomfy, but to be fair, the rest of her bracelets are as well. Oh but my they God, look like it goes so well with the bracelets you're They look like they have more stretch to them than that one does. Already wearing, that's so funny. Okay. With me always, baby. Oh, and an update on the mini fridge. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Like, it just, it didn't work. I'm obsessed with all the updates on this stupid shit. I forgot about the mini fridge. It's been multiple days since we talked about the mini fridge, but I'm so glad. Like, we got the update on the laundry basket yesterday. We got an update on the slides today, and now also the mini fridge. We are truly blessed with content from Amber Lynn right now. I had to return it. Yeah, it wouldn't turn on. So we had to return it. Oh, and bummer. And she let me pick out another one. So that'll be coming in the mail. I can't, yeah, I can't I was wait. To, I, was, I was about to put like some fruit and some water in my mini fridge and it like wouldn't work. It's not your fault, baby. I don't understand why you need fruit in there. You can't, you can't get up to go to the kitchen to get fruit. Alrighty. My gifts are a whopping big. Yes, let's wow. fucking go. I love this wrapping paper so much. What? Wait. What? <laughs> what is this? What? Lunix, you deserve to relax. What is this? <laughs> Let me open her up. Let's oh, fucking this. go. What is oh, this? Is a cordless hand massager. <laughs> oh my god. Just listening to her laugh about this and then just to be staring at the door. Uh, this is truly the Amberlade content that I love and, and know and enjoy. Like, great camera angle where I see nothing that's actually happening and her laughing about something that's just truly not that funny. <laughs> Chef's kiss. She's really going out with a bang for Vlogmas. Not that kind of bang. I don't need to know about it if that's what's happening with wifey. I always tell, I always tell Pauline, will you massage my hand? <laughs> so funny. You know when I'm not around. Will you help me? Oh, oh, help, I'm help me, baby. I like, I don't know what it is, but I like when my hands have like, pressure and like massage and does anyone else sleep with their wrists like curled like this no <laughs> no i, I sleep like this or like this, or like this. It's no a, it's a moment I, I no what wait 
Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? This looks like a freaking contraption. Baby, wait, what? what? Do you put your hand in it, baby? Yeah, baby. Baby! This is a whole moment. This is too funny. I, I can't wait. I hope she shows this. I hope she shows herself sticking her hand in this. That would be literally the best moment. We have whatever the- what? Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you, babe. You're welcome, baby. It has this. Dang, that's sleek, whatever it is. I'm like, oh, I like that. I have no idea what this no, is. No idea what that is. Comes with a little bag, all of the cords. Oh, you put your hand in there. <laughs> She truly has no idea what the fuck is going on. How about you just take a second, unpack everything, read some instructions, and then come back with you, you putting your little paw in there. Paws up, little monsters. Let's go. Babe, this is so cool. This is so cool. And you have this moment. You don't even know what that is. I have to like... Okay, let's set this up. I Please. Need I need to try it. Please stop pulling things out of the box and be like, oh my god, this is so cool. You have no idea what that thing was. So there's heat. Okay. Power. You just stick Get in your there. hand in there. Get in there. So <laughs> Why does she look like fucking Mega Man right now? You know the little uh the the video game character? She looks like Mega Man. Like she's gonna go pew 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 and shoot stuff out of her her, her wrist. <laughs> this is so much fun. There's like pokey things, but like they feel good. And there's like okay. ball. There's balls. Low. There's balls there's, in there's it? There's definitely some- There's balls in it? Okay, I might have to check this out. Situation type deal going on up in there. You have like intensity, vibration. Uh -huh. Sure, sure, this sure, is sure. so sure. cool. And that one thing, this snazzy doodad, this is a hand warmer. Oh, wow. Isn't this cool? The so vibration, cool. I turned the vibration on. I'm gonna turn the heat on. This is- <laughs> Oh my also, God, though, this feels so weird. Can we just talk about how this is like the most like unnecessary gift? <laughs> like this is just pure. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to. I you, you, listen. If you got one at home, I'm not talking about you. Strictly for Amberlynn and all the gifts she's gotten. Uh, but, but this is just so funny to me. Like, so unneeded, so unnecessary and over the top. And I guess that's, you know, that's what gifts are for during the holiday season, right? To, like, get stuff you don't necessarily need or, like, you, you wouldn't necessarily get for yourself. I am obsessed. Oh, my God, it's closing in on my fingers. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> I love that we can't even see anything. We're just looking at this static image of the hand massager. Oh, this is so good. This is cinema. This is cinema. I feel so good. Squeezing <laughs> me. Whoa. You guys, I wish you could feel this. Now I do going too. On my wrist. Maybe, maybe I'll have to get me one, but I'm worried that they're like super expensive. I'm sorry. This is not a good description of what's happening but let me tell you my hands uh -huh. are squeezed squoze like to death love it and it feels so good <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, this is Ooh, it's, cool. Now how now how does the how does the camera go out of focus when the the object on the camera has barely moved? What is going on with this camera? My eyes I feel like I'm in the future. My eyes. So I'm in the middle <laughs> of doing my video from yesterday because uh -huh. it has to go live in like three hours. Yeah. And there's some people who don't believe that I actually go through all of the effort to choose titles and it's it's the truth you guys why would you care if people didn't believe that why <laughs> why are you spending energy on that obviously you have to have some process to naming your videos like one i feel like you're just oh, <laughs> i don't understand why you're defending this of all things this, of all things, you want to defend yourself again. Yeah, everybody has to have some kind of process to, to name their videos. I, okay? I don't care. Um, here's some examples of that. 
here is from from the 19. Okay, great. We have great. From the 18. I truly don't give from a the shit. Fourth, from the 9th. I'm just clicking random ones to show you guys. From the 2nd, I actually tried to delete these, but some of them I still have saved. Uh, here's from December 1st. What do you mean? What do you mean you tried? What do you mean you tried, you tried to delete them? I, you didn't try hard enough, apparently. What? <laughs> I do do this for all of my videos. You do do? It's just something that... You do do? We always got to bring it back to the pissing and shitting and farting. Makes the most sense to me. Um, I know to a lot of people it just seems like I throw up a video and call it a day, but uh, no. no. Um, I take the time to okay. think about what I'm going to film. And my let's, let's not be too silly about this. Let's not, let's not act like you're doing sophisticated art. <laughs> okay. I I will defend you in saying that, yeah, like you probably have to have some kind of process for deciding what you want to title the video. But let's not act like th this is an example of, like, well-thought-out content. Editing and just the process of doing my videos, I really do think about it. So, because of rumors about supposedly rumors. coming for another reaction channel, which where, I'm not. Where are these rumors? <laughs> I'm sick of rumors starting. I'm sick of being followed. I would love to put the Lindsay Lohan clip in there of her singing this. Actually, I think I've done that before. Uh, but I, I, I don't have time to deal with the copyright stuff again. Um, this season, I am not watching reaction channels. There is oh, you're one not? I watch because they don't say anything bad about me. And I find them entertaining. I'm not, she keeps doing that. I'm not watching any reaction channels, but there is one I watch because they they are they only say nice things, and I think they're very entertaining. Girl, you set yourself up. You you were just setting yourself up. And they don't just talk about me, but as for all the other ones. Sorry, not sorry. I, I I would appreciate it if people would stop messaging me on Instagram about them, uh, or okay. anything about them. That's fair. Because um, I just don't care. That's fair, but, but obviously you do care to some extent. Otherwise, we wouldn't be fucking talking about it right now. But you know, when I don't care about something, I don't spend chunks of time on my social media talking about it. I will just say that, okay. Since there is a rumor going on that I, I striked someone else, I don't really know their name. Something, something quirky. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> something um, quirky. Here, you actually cannot. Quirky girls. So I have not edited this. This is the only people I have ever striked. As Struck. you can see here, it was bottle. It was that whole chaos with uh -huh. that, which I did on the 29th and the 30th of October okay. 2022. And then these were the whole apathetic facts situation okay. type deal um, that happened in November of 2021. So just, I have not done just to be clear, just to be clear, I feel, and I don't want to start the speculation or theories or anything, but I feel like let me go back just a little bit because I feel like there was something right above this that she didn't show, but maybe it's just like the the like header for this section of YouTube or something like that. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. I did go back and you can barely probably see it on mine, but it just says request status. So I think that, that it is the, the title of the, the columns of this section of, of her YouTube studio, if that makes sense. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't think, I don't think she's being deceptive here. But I do think it would be more efficient if she just showed <laughs> up above to to prove any haters wrong, you know, if she's looking for feedback. But also, I just don't understand why she's even addressing this to begin with. <laughs> happened in November of 2021. So I have not done it to anyone else. All right. These are the only people. See, I can't scroll any farther, any higher or any lower because this is it. I have been honest about that. Okay. Um, All right, let's hide. move on then. I am not copyright let's, people. Let's I move on. Reporting people. This, if this was really a rumor, I like that people thought was legitimate. <laughs> I feel like I would have known about it to be honest with you, because uh, even even the the wildest of speculation 
typically makes its way across my inbox or in my comment section. I've not seen anybody talking about this, so let's just let's just keep it moving. Oh, I am not striking people. I am not good for people. Great. It's just not my brand. Uh, <laughs> um, well. <laughs> I don't know about that, but let's keep going. Did it these times, and that was it. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now you can see the header so that you know that that really isn't, there's nothing above it. Okay, great. Out of all the times I could have done it in the last five years, that's it. So I, I'm just here to uh, put a stop to that rumor because it's not true. You cannot believe reaction channels. They what? lie to you for a reason. <laughs> They who's, want you to keep coming back for more. Who's lying? Who's lying? Well, I, I'll i speak for myself. I, I don't believe I've told a lie. I, I just sit here and give my opinion. I, I That's mostly what I think I do here. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to know who is, who's lying. They try to make me into the bad guy when really I'm not. So I really quickly wanted to give an update on- Not this damn book! I don't give a shit! How many more pages did you read? 15? You read 15 more pages and you're so obsessed but you don't know, you don't know what the story's about. Hopefully she read more than that. I'm just, <laughs> based on the last update we got. On this book, Someone's Story by B.A. Bellick. Oh, it looks like I she's further. I'm actually on page- Okay, she's much further. Okay, stunning. Party. I thoroughly am enjoying this because it reminds me of like journal form. Um, yeah, you said it's that this already. Guy just you, you've talking ta about his day to day life. You've talked about that already. Could you tell me any more about what the story is about? He has a therapist. Just got a new job. It's yeah, you said all that girl, before. So I just find it highly entertaining. It doesn't really have like a plot per se. It's more so just his life, but. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It took me out of my reading slump, which was the goal. Hello. Hi. So, are we, I haven't talked to you guys. Are we doing more cleaning and organizing? Are, are we doing more cleaning and organizing? Fuck yes. Let's go. In a few hours, I'm just getting my earrings down. Oh. I think it's time. I go through them. Okay, okay. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some that I'm gonna wear. Like, yes! Let's be real. My, fa my favorite Amber Lynn these days is organized Lynn. So let's go, let's go. And besties, I heard through the grapevine. What? That a lot of you like my decluttering, organizing, cleaning <laughs> content. And that is what I like to hear. Oh, good, yeah, good. I was about to say who said that, but I, I, I literally, me, I just said that. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> good. You know what? I would love to see you declutter and organize, though, the torrid on your couch. Is it still there? Gonna be more. So, first step I'm gonna do is just take out all of my earrings. Perfect. You I don't want anything in these containers. Cause I feel like it would be so much more efficient since she's like planning on going and getting rid of some of the ones that she doesn't wear. Like probably this one that's still connected to <laughs> to the thing she bought it on. Uh, but wouldn't it be more efficient to, as you're taking them out, sort them into piles of like, I want to keep this. I don't want to keep this. Like, why take everything out, then go through everything individually, then put it all back? You could you could at least cut one of those steps, don't you think? So I wanna start completely fresh. You know, now that I'm doing this, I am having a large, very large sense of regret. Why? Me getting rid of all my earrings that I had. Well, most of those, remember, were 400, 400 bulk item purchases <laughs> in general that you got because you were going to become a, a businesswoman, if you remember. I had thousands. You sure did. And one day I just said, you know what? I'm giving them away to my family. Well, it wasn't just giving them away to your family. I, are we just glossing over your, your earring business? 
girl, you are an entrepreneur. I want to support women CEOs. Don't don't hide those facts. It was a very successful business. I even got some from it. These little beauties, they came from it. I think these are, might be the only ones I ended up keeping. I might have one or two others. But I think these are just so perfect for whenever I do the little memorial services. But yeah, you gotta you gotta support women CEOs. So don't don't hide the fact that you had a very successful earring business. It was a random moment in time. That's okay. I mean, I still have a lot of earrings. Yeah, I think you have plenty. Alrighty. I officially you have, have you have ones that are still like on the I don't know what that's called like the backing that you buy them with the, you, you can see one right there I, unless you that you use it to store it but like you don't do that for any of the other ones of all my earrings sitting right here besides the pair on my head forgot I even had these right right so why are you upset about <laughs> Having to give a bunch away in the past when you don't even remember all of the pairs that you have right now. I haven't even worn them. They're so Exactly. Cute. A little Betsy Johnson moment. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I have to keep these. Why? I have no idea what I would wear it with. Right. So get rid of them. They're just fancy, but they're also so freaking pretty and i think that's why i'm having such a hard time sure. With sure, them. sure 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 random <sighs> fact i'll take those I'll, I'll take those i love those i love those if you get rid of them send them my way air berlin i would love them it's about these mrs claus they actually came separately with mr claus but I was like, why can't we have some right. female love and female representation? Yes. So Gay I rights. Got Amber Lynn said, women loving women rights. And I agree. I want them. If you get rid of them, Amber Lynn, I'm, I'm very serious about this. I'll give you my address. I'll pay for the shipping. I don't know that I'd actually pay for them, but I'll pay for the shipping. If somebody could pass that on to her, I would love those. Two pairs because I wanted the Mrs. Claus. I wanted them both on my ear instead of one Mr. One Mrs. So, yeah, I think I'll be wearing these on Christmas. Stunning. Honestly. Okay, so I have them all laid out. I now. think she just has like an obsession with laying everything out and then putting it all back away. That's honestly what I think it's about. Because <laughs> how is this going to be any more or less organized at, at the end of it all? I am going to be going through them I already have some set aside that I'm getting rid of um but now I'm about to like you went and laid them all out individually like this and then you're gonna have to go through them all individually one more time to decide what ones you want to keep and not keep it makes no sense to me really get down to it so random but out of all of these the pair uh -huh. that I have had the longest and sure. I've worn the most is this one. <laughs> I don't. Yep. I don't know oh, that no. I. I don't even know that I've it's ever like seen her wear those. Cute, but I have a certain dress that I wear with these, and it makes the earrings cute when I wear it with the dress. I don't. Uh, know, I don't understand, but it is. A thing. I feel like I've never seen her okay, wear those. So I'm fine. sure I have, but they just like don't stand out in in such a way. I'm keeping these ones over here. Um, I'm gonna organize them later. It's just these. One tray full. And look at how many I am deciding to let go of. So I am. Oh, working. I was like, at first she had just that little tiny pile. I was like, girl, that's nothing to brag about. But this is more impressive. This is more impressive. Just in time, also, by the way, for her to go buy more, honestly. Quite of a lot. I just really feel like a clutter. That's the word that comes to mind clutter when I look at these because I know that's the word that comes to mind when I just think about you in general you have so much random stuff all the time you're always going through things and getting rid of things these are ones that yeah I might think they're cute but I don't get use out of them okay. I am not wearing them Work. I haven't reached for Work. them in a long time I don't Work. see myself reaching for them anytime soon so it's just Good like choices. to me and I'm just really 
and that decluttering mind frame. So I love it. These are gonna go to someone who will truly enjoy them because it ain't me. So I randomly started feeling pretty, pretty not good. Okay. Pretty not good. <laughs> Um, I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, like, what's wrong? I think I'm having, like, massive gallstone pain. Directly my fault because I was doing pretty good. Okay. Um, I wasn't binging. I was doing pretty good. And then I binged. Okay. And it was pretty bad. And now I'm just, uh, feeling pretty rough. So... I am curious about the gallstone thing because, you know, somebody said in my comments on a on a video at some point during Vlogmas, and I couldn't even tell you, it's been so long, but it, it struck me as like, oh, that's like an interesting thing. It's just like, the gallstones are not like bad enough to do anything medically about, but they're bad enough to like always always impact her life and and it's just like i i that's must be very frustrating doctors are telling you that they can't do anything about it but then it like stops everything yeah today's vlogmas is not the greatest i'm sorry that's i'm okay. not sure how tomorrow's gonna look wait first of all i've had a lot of fun today <laughs> i've had a ton of fun today for the record that hand massage thing on its own was enough entertainment for me today, if we're, if we're being honest. Ugh. <laughs> Regardless, I'm still gonna, um, I, I, okay. I'm losing my Let's fin thought. finish a thought. Regardless, I'm still gonna upload and let me finish Stun. that Stun. Stunning. Um, but this right here, I cut myself last time I went to Walmart on the shopping cart. What? Yes, I did. When was the last so, time you even went to Walmart? You, if you did, you didn't show it. I feel like the last trip she made out to do any kind of shopping was to Target. But maybe maybe where she got that grocery haul from was was Walmart. Well, I have a big scratch right there. And as you guys know, um, I suffer with excoriation yeah, yeah, yeah. problems. Mm -hmm. So I have to keep that under wrap. I don't wanna be picking at that and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I'm not feeling the greatest, so, <laughs> yeah, um, I ended up falling asleep, just wanting the, to ignore the pain, mm. and I woke up still feeling pretty rough, so, let's do comment of the day. Oh, comment of the day? Hopefully. There's still, there's still like four minutes of this video left. Comment of the day is supposed to be the end. Hopefully I can sleep and we can edit this, wake up, have a good day. All right. You know? Let's okay, go. so it is comment of the daytime. Work. I don't want anyone to be upset with me for binging. I know that's what no. is going to happen. But as someone who is sharing her journey on <laughs> YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. do know that binging will forever be a part of my life. My psychologist has to beat that in my head that, you know, I'm not just gonna not binge. It's something I'm gonna suffer with forever. But the time frame of relapses in between should get lengthier and lengthier and lengthier. I just know people are gonna be upset with me and that's just unfortunate. You guys aren't the one who's having to deal with it. I am. I, I'm not upset with you. Like, that's, that's, those are your choices, your decisions, your actions. Like, I'm, I'm not upset with you. The only thing that I'm mildly upset about, and I'm not really even upset about that, but would just like to point out, as you said, you were no longer going to talk about your binges on YouTube because when you do talk about it, the way that people respond to it, which you seem to be alluding to here, makes you want to binge more, makes you uh, upset. Like, so you just said, if you recall, that you were going to stop talking about it. That's that's my only critique. But like I said, that, this is not hurting me. This is like your life. I So I'm not mad at you. I, listen, it, you would have to do something way more serious. And I just hate so badly that people just get upset with me when I binge. I find that to be strange because it really is uncontrollable and it's something that sure. I'm having to suffer the consequences from. I very much go back and forth if I want to even share well, well, right. certain things. I think I think it would be helpful if you just didn't, <laughs> honestly, based on, on the way you've talked about it. Like, truly, I want to empower you to, to stop talking about it. 
but I've been watching Tammy Lemon lately. Sorry, now I'm rambling. Yeah, um, sure, I've been watching sure Tammy are. Lemon lately ever since she started doing Vlogmas. Uh-huh. And, like, she's very open about her binging. People are supportive of that. I have been open about my binging for almost a decade on YouTube, and I don't get the same kind of support. Well, and Bessie, Bessie, this is comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. I believe it's a Teddy Roosevelt quote. I learned about it through Brene Brown. I've said it many times on this channel. But comparison is the thief of joy. You're not Tammy Lemon. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop setting your expectations to be that you're going to get the response that Tammy Lemon does. Because you're not her, bestie. I don't know what else to tell you about that. But you you simply aren't. There's a whole context surrounding you and your channel that's not the, sa- <laughs> not the same. And that's not to say that anybody should or shouldn't be giving you a hard time about it. Because I was thinking about that today. I was, it was This was a shower thought about how, like, you know, I do say a lot, like, you manage your expectations. And I hope that never takes away from the fact that, like, yeah, also people shouldn't be shitty, right? Like, don't be shitty for, for no good reason, okay? I don't want I don't want to take away from how, like, the people who are being shitty people should also just not be shitty. But what I'm saying is that, like, at this point also, Amber Lynn should be at a place on YouTube where she, she knows how people are and what will get a response and what won't get a response out of some of those people and go from there, you know, like arm yourself with the tools to be able to handle it. I wish her nothing but forever support because it gets rough out there, folks, (laughs) when you binge and you feel like shit, whether that be physically or mentally, and then you share that as yeah, but why are we why or why are we even bringing Tammy Lemon into this, bestie? <laughs> why? For YouTube and people attack you and they're just so horrible. I hope that Tammy Lemon is never treated like that. But yeah, same. You know, same. she is unknowingly motivating me and inspiring me to share more about my binging, even okay. though I've always shared a lot. But, like, in this situation right now, I probably would not have shared with you guys that I feel like crap and that my gallstones hurt. What? I probably wouldn't have shared that. I probably okay. just been, like, going through something, tee-hee-hee. Okay, well, that tee-hee-hee is the problem. <laughs> and that tee-hee-hee... Is why why people do respond the way that they do to you because sometimes you want to tell us everything, sometimes you don't want to tell us anything. Sometimes you admit that you troll about things, sometimes you don't admit that you troll about things. And it's just like that that's that's the context. Listen, I've watched maybe all of one, two Tammy Lemon videos. So I don't know what the context is there or how people treat her there or like what her behavior looks like over there. But I just explained what Amber Lynn's behavior is like. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I wish she just, like, had some self-awareness. Let's get to the comment of the day, please. Pick a winner. Super chats are not tips. 1109. Okay. We don't like seeing you eat. We like seeing you succeed. But that's a a joke at this point, dude. You're hopeless. (laughs) Wow. Wait, why why did she laugh about that? Probably because it made her uncomfortable. But, like... I don't think that's a very funny comment. Thank you. Um, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. Oh, we don't, we don't get any thoughts (laughs) thoughts about that comment. You know what? It's probably for the best because she's clearly not in a, in a place to be commenting about that. But wow. Okay. Well, the first, the first like two thirds of that video, I really enjoyed. Even, even the earring decluttering, as silly as it was. I enjoyed. So, uh, I, w- I just want to give you kudos to that, Bestie. We got how many more? You have one more day of filming, and we have two, three more days of watching, I guess, because there's going to be one tonight, one tomorrow, and one on Christmas Day. So, three more Vlogmas videos, and uh, and we'll be done with Vlogmas. It'll be over, and we'll throw a party, 
and have a celebration. <laughs> All right, everybody, I love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with me this holiday season. Uh, if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Also, make sure to leave a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media, including the twitch.tv slash the Zachary Mike, including Cameo, including checking out my merch, including everything. I love you all so much. Bye!